champ is back on top and ready to stay there after he vanquished the demons of the America's leg of the season and stormed to a stunning victory for the second year at Jerez. But Bagnaia will be eager to show this wasn't just a flash in the pan and that stunning race winning form is here to stay as he seeks to make amends for Le Mans 2022. However, he won't have it all his own way as Marco Betzeki will be aiming to reclaim the title lead he lost after a crash at Jerez and if you bet on Jorge Martin, Johan Zarco, Luca Marini and Alex Marquez who took his first MotoGP podium here in 2020 will be chasing after the number one. Two Tito sprint victories, two podiums at Jerez and showing speed at all circuits so far has proved that KTM with its completely revised RC16 are in the mix and they're here to stay. The factory in orange will be full of confidence after their showing at Jerez and ready to finally capture that maiden win of the season. Brad Bender has shown he's not just a Sunday specialist anymore and can lead races brilliantly from the front and Jack Miller backed up his adaptation to the RC16 with a podium in Jerez which will put him in prime position to back up his victory at Le Mans two years ago. One podium from the opening four rounds isn't the return for the riches that Aprilia had expected. Their underlying pace isn't in question as shown by Alicia Spargaro taking pole at Jerez, but some cracks have shown. The bike struggles with tyre pressure and hot air, technical issues have resulted in non-scores and starts have proven to be their Achilles heel. From the four starts at Jerez, Alicia Spargo dropped back into the pack on every occasion and Maverick Vinales spent the entire Spanish GP weekend and Jerez test doing practice starts. The silver lining for the Noali factory is that these aren't fundamental problems and can be fixed. Once they are, Aprilia will be a force to be reckoned with but their season will be defined on how quickly these problems can be solved. 11th in the Riders Championship and only one podium to his name so far in 2023 definitely won't be the position that Quattarado would have expected to be sitting in going into his home round. Race pace has looked strong in Argentina, Cota and Jerez, but qualifying is his and Yamaha's kryptonite. They'll take little comfort in their strong race pace if they can't get onto the front two rows of the grid. However, Yamaha has a stellar reputation around Le Mans, with eight victories in the MotoGP era and with the backing of the home crowd behind Quattarado, despite their struggles, don't count out the 2021 champion to put on a show for his home fans and give it everything to challenge at the front. What was the thing that was on everyone's lips at the Jerez test? Most people would have said Honda's Calix chassis, tested by test rider Stefan Bradl on Monday after the Grand Prix. And the vibes are positive to quote Repsol Honda team manager Alberto Puig. It remains to be seen whether the chassis built by the famous German brand will be rolled out at Le Mans this weekend. You can imagine they will want to assess it with all riders even during a race weekend. And if the chassis is an improvement, the 1000 GP weekend could be the start of the mighty Honda getting back to the front. Speaking of 1000 GPs, Le Mans marks a historic milestone within the World Championship. Racing began in 1949 at the Isle of Man TT, with Freddy Frith taking victory in the first World Championship race in the 350cc class. And the championship has never looked back since, turning race winners into champions and champions into MotoGP legends. The MotoGP World Championship has never been in better shape. And what better venue to host this momentous occasion than at a circuit with such a rich motorsport history? And whoever takes the grand prize on Sunday will forever hold a permanent and celebrated place within the history of MotoGP. If you love MotoGP videos, like and subscribe.